John F. Flores? Here. Catherine E. Leonard? Here. Justin S. McLaughlin? Here. Jean Marie Napolitano? Here. Naomi Neville? She's here. 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 Madam Chair, there's a quorum present. Proclamation honoring 2015 Employee of the Year, Lori Kenny. Uh, yes, I'd like to ask Lori Kenny to come up, please. liaison updates? Um, the public hearing, we are going to have the public hearing, however, what I will note is that administration has been working on a number of changes in a number of different areas. So we will not be voting on this tonight. We will vote to continue it. However, if there's anyone in the audience that would like to address um, the city's capital improvement program, uh, please feel free to come up now. I'm not sure if I'm looking for all the hearings and I continue to come to the board. Is the motion is second? Discussion? Hearing none? All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? I have it. 
The consent calendar? Madam Chair, I make a motion to approve the consent calendar in its entirety with the exception of items A4, 7, and 8. There's a motion, second, discussion. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Any opposed, ayes have it. Application for a special event, Lynn Tungate, Newport this week, DBA, a night to remember. Madam Chair, I make a motion to amend the application, page 3, to add raffles. There's a motion and a second. Discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Any opposed, ayes have it. Madam Chair, I make a motion to approve as amended. Second. There's a motion and a second, all in favor? Aye. Any opposed, ayes have it. Application for a special event, Rhode Island Bridge and Turnpike Authority, DBA, four bridges ride. Yes. Counselor Neville will be recusing herself on 7 and 8. There's not really a question on 7, but perhaps number 8. And it is the Pell Bridge Run, 715 to 10 a.m., almost three hours. And I'm just wondering, you know, does that compete with the vehicle traffic? How does that work? Sure. Matthew Gregg, 3 Kern Avenue. We're going to turn it around and see if I can bridge it over. We actually have a one-hour policy for all runners who are off the bridge within one hour. This is for the entirety of the event, so post-event down at the Gateway Center. We'll kind of go on continuously with people who have refreshments, such as water, coffee, and orange juice. Okay, so you're talking start to finish. Yeah, this is the entirety of the event. The parts where it will actually be on the roads in Newport would be over by 9 o'clock at the very latest. So would it be like 715 to 9? Yeah, the bridge starts in Jamestown at 715, so the first runner would probably make their way into Newport about 740. So it's roughly 740 until about 9 o'clock. Okay. 915 at the latest, probably. All right, thank you. Move to approve item number 7 and item number 8. Second. There's a motion and a second. Discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Ayes have it. Application for a new victualling license, Picnic LTD, DBA Picnic, 26 to 28 Bellevue Avenue. This is a vet license for Picnic located at 26 to 28 Bellevue. Bellevue, I move passage. There's a motion and a second. Discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Ayes have it. Application for a new victualling license, TJPAC 226 LLC, DBA Christo's Pizza of Newport. Again, this is a vet license for Christo's Pizza at 226 Bellevue Avenue. I move passage. Second. There's a motion and a second. Madam Chair? Yes. I'd like to offer an amendment to the application just to clarify the hours of operation would be from 10 a.m. to 11 p.m., which is not clear on the application. Okay. Second. There's a motion and a second to amend the application for clarity to 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Ayes have it. On the original motion, move to approve. Second. There's a motion and a second. Hi. My name is Tom Sutton. I'm one of the owners. I just happened to catch it. It's 266. To the mic, please. Hi. Tom Sutton. It's 266? It's 266. Is that what is on the? 266, Madam Chair. It says 266 on the application. Oh, okay. A typo on the. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Application for a vitaling license, new location, Jack L. Corey, DBA Mocha Coffee House. Yes, this is a vit license for Mocha Coffee House at 469 Bain Street, Unmoved Passage. There's a motion and a second. Discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Ayes have it. Appointments to boards and commissions? I make a motion to appoint Timothy Brown 
and Adrian Taylor to the Free and Open Space Commission. Second. There's a motion and second. Discussion? Hearing none. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Ayes have it. Uh, make appointment of Heidi Blank to the Zoning Board of Review. Uh, Susan T. Perkins to move up to first alternate and Charles Allen to move up to second alternate. Second. There's a motion and second. Discussion? Hearing none. All in favor? Uh, Any opposed? I said. Uh, reappointments. Uh, I move, make a motion to reappoint John Hirschbach to the Clipwall Commission. Second. There's a motion and second. Discussion? Hearing none. All in favor? Uh, Any opposed? I said. I make a motion to appoint Daniel Dias to the Historic District Commission. Second. There's a motion second. Discussion? Hearing none. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Ayes have it. I make a motion to appoint Brenda Bachman and Monica Silva Burnley to the Hospitality Commission. Second. There's a motion second. Discussion? Hearing none. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Ayes have it. Uh, I make a motion to appoint Reappoint Rebecca McSweeney as chair of the Zoning Board of Review. Second. There's a motion and second. Discussion? Hearing none. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Aye. Seven. Resolution recognizing Sidabruzzi on his induction into the East Coast Surfing Hall of Fame. Councilor Flores. And Mr. Bruzzi, can you come up, please? Seda Bruzzi is a local surfing icon who Newporters have come to know as the godfather of Rhode Island surfing. Sid is a pioneer who helped to popularize the sport of surfing in New England during the 1960s. 45 years ago, he played a major role in the legalization of surfing and continues to this day to be one of its chief ambassadors. His influence has spread throughout the world, unifying surfers on the East Coast, West Coast, and South Africa. Sid's resilience and determination embodies the strength and spirit of our city. So let it be resolved that the Newport City Council today recognizes this local icon and his induction into the East Coast Surfing Hall of Fame, and let it be further resolved that a copy of this resolution, signed by the mayor and members of the city council, and countersigned by the city clerk, be presented to Sid Bruzzi and spread upon the records of this council. Town Council. Uh, this means everything. Um, I've been surfing in Newport now for over 50 years, and um, surfing's come a long way. And through the generosity of uh, the Newport leaders of our community, over those 50 years, have been very generous with the surfing community and giving them <coughs> plenty of room at First Beach, um, unlimited access for surfing which allowed the sport to grow. The sport is multi-generational now, from just kids when I was growing into all walks of life. And um, they all come to Newport now, as you can see on a regular day, there's hundreds of them serving all throughout Newport and um, enjoying the town and the restaurants. And that's all through the generosity of Newport and allowing such a uh, unlimited surfing area and, and being more than there. A lot of towns have a small area, a limited time. Newport's been always generous to the serving community. And over the last 50 years, it has grown. And like I said, I'm sure everyone really appreciates coming to Newport, whether they're a local or not a town. And it's all behalf of all the town followers. So thank you on behalf of all the serving community. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Resolution regarding bulky waste collection? Yes, Councilor Um Yes, I am um, not going to read this whole uh, resolution, but I just thought I want to summarize uh, it. That um, I think that we have uh, actually um, benefited from the city's uh, waste management contract and that uh, we have actually increased our recycling rate from 23 to 30 percent, and uh, which means that less. Uh, trash is actually going into the landfill, uh, saving the city money. However, I do um, believe, based on emails and uh, calls that I've gotten, that we're still having problems with the bulky waste uh, policy. And I'm not sure if the policy is a problem with the policy or the communication about the policy, but it's something that I would like administration huh. to look at. So I'm going to read the resolve. Um, uh, resolve that the administration evaluate the bulky waste process, including assessment of costs and benefits of the current bulky waste sticker fee program, as well as determination of the cost of reinstitution of free and routine bulky waste collection, and therefore be further resolved that administration review and evaluate the methods of communicating the bulky waste collection program and enforcement of existing ordinances in pursuit of improving the process to address issues associated with improper disposal of bulky waste. Um, I, I realize that this uh, policy has changed significantly um, uh, for residents. Um, at one time, you could just put a mattress outside. Um, you can't do that anymore. Now mm -hmm. you have to buy a bulky waste sticker, you have to call waste management, and you have to wait uh, two weeks between the first and third Thursdays of the month. Um, so this is this is entirely new, and I would like us to look at this policy um, as well as the communication. You know, would it be better to uh, continue charging and have once a week pickup, um, or um, some people have suggested a once a month pickup um, at the cost, but I think it's something that we need to look at the financial impact of all of these things. Um, so that's where I am on this, and I appreciate any comments. Also, on one other thing, the, the newsletter that's going out, um, the city newsletter, also has the procedures in it for this month um, for uh, residents to see, so that's actually helping with communication as well. Yes, Councilor Leonard. I'm, I'm glad to see this come to the forefront because there have been so many calls for big bulky items being dumped throughout the city and shame on those who do that. But I, I also know, notice that, or I understand that we've had quite a bit of cost related to people dumping their items because A, either they can't afford to buy the sticker or they really don't feel like buying the sticker. But in either case, um, I was told and maybe we could look at it in terms of a possible reopener if both parties of the city and the, and the waste company agree in terms of, like Councilor Sedley said, maybe once a week um, the cost needs to be really looked at. I didn't, I didn't vote for the contract, um, and this was one of the reasons. I think that repercussions have come and we've all seen it. 
I'd like to see myself if this can be looked at because nobody wants to look in a city with TV sets and old couches and mattresses abandoned and thrown around. My form's checked off. Because you did it before meeting. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Madam Chair, that is correct. Funding shall be the strategic prevention uh, framework for the Thank you. Really noted. That's correct. Are we ready to go? All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Action number 5492. 
Madam Chair, the Department of Public Services recognizes approval of a one-year agreement including two additional one-year option years with Island Elements Incorporated of Middletown, Rhode Island for water support equipment rentals at Easton's Beach. This agreement will add 4,500 in revenue to the Easton's Beach revenue account for fiscal year 2017, 4,500 for fiscal year 2018, and 4,500 for fiscal year 2019, totaling $13,500 over three years. Any approval of the resolution? There's a motion second. Discussion. Hearing none. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Action number 5493. Madam Chair, Department of Public Services recommends approval of a supplemental agreement to contract number 11-069 that would increase the annual not to exceed contract total for fiscal year 2015-2016 to not to exceed amount of $47,517.50 in order to provide additional funding for capital related decorative, decorative street lighting repairs. The contract to provide decorative street lighting maintenance and repair services is with the original sole bidder, Frank A. Turner Electric Company Incorporated of Middletown, Rhode Island. It is currently budgeted in the approval of company resolution. There's a motion, second, discussion. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Ayes have it. Action number 5494. Madam Chair, Department of Public Services recommends the purchase of furnishings associated with the City Clerk Office renovation, furniture, furnishings, and installation to the lowest, most responsive bidder, Office Director of Warwick, Rhode Island, based on the submitted bid proposal for the associated work. The cost of this work will not exceed the total amount of $33,092. This total price includes $30,092 for the purchase of the furnishings and $3,000 in project contingencies. There's no fiscal impact in the approval of company resolution. There's a motion, second, discussion. Madam Chair? Yes, counsel. I had a question about the existing furniture. My memory is that there's some of it that's sort of older. Pretty beat up. But is there some sort of plan to either donate that furniture or... I just don't want to see it go into the bulky waste. Yeah, well, we do have a process of surplus properties. We'll canvas the rest of the city to see whether they can use some of it. All right. I guess just so I would just ask that before it gets thrown out... Right. And if nobody wants it from the city, it could somehow then be given away. Well, as I said, there's a process to surplus the property. And quite frankly, I don't want to burst anyone's bubble, but we have plenty of stuff like that. And as you're aware, we have probably a schoolhouse full of stuff, you know, chairs and the like. And I could go on for a while about other buildings we had and no one would claim it. But we can look at what Laura has and make some accommodations if no one wants it. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Ayes have it. Action number 5495. Madam Chair, Department of Facilities, Water Division staff recommends the contract for a second pump station building modification of the project, number 16-015, to our Zoho Corporation of Sturgeon, Mass., be amended in accordance with change order number one for the amount of $16,090.58. The new contract amount will be $92,590.58. Funding for this project will be provided from the Water Division Control Capital Improvement Program. In other words, the amount is currently budgeted, Madam Chair, in approval of accompanying resolution. Second. There's a motion and a second. Discussion? Hearing none. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Ayes have it. Action number 5496. Madam Chair, Department of Utilities recommends the award of a contract for engineering and design services associated with water distribution system improvements to James J. Jeremiah and Associates of Providence, Rhode Island, for the not-to-exceed fee of $63,290. Funding for this project will be provided by the Water Division Control Capital Improvement Program. It is currently budgeted and will approve the accompanying resolution. Second. There's a motion and a second. Discussion? Hearing none. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Ayes have it. Madam Chair, I make a motion to adjourn this council and convene this board of elections. There's a motion and a second. Please convene this council and get its license to make sure. Second. Motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Ayes have it. Madam Chair, I make a motion to adjourn this council and convene this board of elections. Thank you.
Madam Chair, I have a motion to approve the consent calendar in its entirety. Second. Okay. There's a motion second to approve the consent calendar in its entirety. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Ayes have it. Madam Chair, I make a motion to adjourn. Second. Madam Chair, I make a motion to adjourn. Second. Madam Chair, I make a motion to adjourn. Second. Madam Chair, I make